fighting the car through the final corner and it's 10th place for Alonso. Some big names dropping down, Perez and Sainz, they've got to find something here. Ricardo up to 10th, Gasly slipping to 12th and could be under pressure. OK, Bottas and Ocon are oh, next over the line. Joe is out, he's only 18th. Bottas good enough for 14th at the moment in that Alfa Romeo. Here's Ocon in the drop zone, doesn't want to have that in back-to-back -back races. 12th place is good, but you've got Sainz in 16th now, Piastri in 17th, both of them attacking the racetrack, Sainz with an ordinary middle sector. Sainz could be in big trouble. He's down in 16th, he's currently in the drop zone, and I'm not sure if he's really improving. He's not the only one, DC. Perez is on the brink as well. Here's Piastri over the line. Piastri does enough. He's P11. Yeah, Perez had a big opening. First sector, middle sector not too bad. He's got to keep it tidy as we see Sainz across the line. 15th for Carlos Sainz. Perez in the drop zone at the moment, but Perez going quickly. Perez on for a personal best. Needs a response. Who goes out here? Across the line we go with Max Verstappen. Perez now to the line. Perez knocking out Carlos Sainz. One of our winners this year finds himself out in the first part of qualifying. It was a big crash in practice yesterday. It's a big shock in qualifying today. The five to go, Sergeant Joe, Bottas, Magnussen and Sainz. Ricardo's gone into seventh place behind Albon. That could be significant. Charles Leclerc comes across the line and goes to third, under three tenths of a second away from uh, Max Verstappen. Now let's see what effort we can have. Time running out in the second part of qualifying. Pierre Gasly goes to fourth. That's a tidy lap. The man who had his best starting position for his team of the season last time out. Yuki Tsunoda now in Alpha Tauri's last race being known as that team ahead of Daniel Ricciardo and up to sixth position. So he's got good form around this circuit in the past and it's continuing on. With Stroll up to ninth position at the moment. You've got Albon on the cusp. His effort is complete but he might be about to head out in the second part of qualifying because Esteban Ocon is looking for an improvement over the line and he does go to ninth position to put Stroll on the bubble. Here's Stroll's teammate Fernando Alonso in the Aston Martin up to sixth position and Stroll in the drop zone. Hamilton only tenth only by fine margins but wait for George Russell who knocks his teammate out and ties the head-to-head -head between the two Mercedes drivers 11 all in the season but for the second week in a row a man who has mastered this track time and time again is out in Q2 and we can see Verstappen coming underneath the hotel now on his way to lay down effort number one. They will get another go, but it will be just one more run for the season after this one. Max Verstappen's time on the board. A 1.23, over to you, Lando Norris. Yeah, and Lando's down three, four tenths in the middle sector. But what is Lando Norris able to deliver? British driver over the line, up to second place, ahead of Sonoda, ahead of Hulkenberg. His teammate Oscar Piastri has set the fastest first sector of anyone so far, but it's that middle part of the lap where everything comes together. Sergio Perez trying to fight his way back into the top four of a Formula One Grand Prix for the first time in a while, looking for it. That's third place at the moment, excellent stuff. Piastri is four tenths of a second away at the end of sector two. So Piastri will be hoping to take third place. Can he do it as he comes over the line? He can, he's half a second away from Max Verstappen, but for McLaren, it's a two, three at the moment, a really strong performance. And Norris just edging his teammate for the time being by over a tenth of a second. Here comes Charles Leclerc, but he's only in eighth position. George Russell has been the lead Mercedes so far this weekend. Where does he put the car? Ahead of Sergio Perez into fourth position. Unbelievably even laps being set by Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri. They're just back. Whoa, he's very nearly dropped it. He's very nearly dropped it. At a circuit where you need to take a step forward on the final run, Lando Norris might well have opened the door for the front row to his teammate. He kept it pointing in the right direction, but it will be no threat to Max Verstappen as he comes over the line. Can Oscar Piastri take the front row away from Lando Norris as he comes out of the final corner? He can! Piastri fights his way to the front row. One moment gathered together by the British driver and the Australian gets ahead. Alonso with a super 
superb lap to go up to fourth position. Charles Leclerc now on board with the Ferrari driver. Is he all at sea? Verstappen's had an ordinary middle sector. Norris went all in and it cost him. Charles Leclerc over the line to the front row of the field from a second off to second place with a great lap at the end. And Verstappen comes over the line. He doesn't improve his time. He's been let off the hook there. Verstappen couldn't find an answer, but he's got pole position at the moment. Still cars to run. Charles Leclerc switching it on at the very end when he needed to. Then it's Piastri, then it's Norris, then it's Yuki Tsunoda, who goes ahead of a two-time world champion and takes fifth place for Alpha Tauri. Hulkenberg is into seventh. It's Russell and Perez to go now, and Gasly. They're the last three over the line for qualifying for Formula One in 2023, and Perez takes back fifth position. The Mexican driver's got it at the moment. George Russell will want to be beyond there. He'll want to be beyond the McLarens. Russell, personal best sector one, personal best sector two. He was seven tenths off after run one, and he he goes to fourth position as Perez's time is deleted at the very same moment. Max Verstappen is on pole position for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. He's 12th pole of the year. He's 32nd pole position all time. Yeah, well done, mate. You've just won me 500 euros off helmet, which is like getting blood out of a stone. So, uh, yeah, fantastic job. <laughs> now we've lost the bet. What world are we living in? Yeah, the bet was uh, for you to be on the front row, mate. <laughs> nice. And now let's have a look at Oscar Piastri and Pierre Gasly. Ooh, and I think that is third place at risk for Oscar Piastri. Max Verstappen taking pole for the 32nd time in his Formula One career. Charles Leclerc on the front row for the fifth Grand Prix in succession. That is the best run in the entire field. Oscar Piastri, third place for the third time this season, but the stewards are investigating him, impeding Pierre Gasly. It's going to be a tight call, that one.